what is this clinical sign typically called the oil drop sign oil drop uh, sign of the nail which is typically seen in psoriasis is what you need to remember then uh, there is a lesion and on the removal of the lesion what do you find there is a drop of blood so what is this clinical sign called auspic sign can the online students Anu, Srinivas, Sikindabad, can you please punch whether the voice is loud and clear so auspice is classically seen in the case of uh, psoriasis is what you need to basically remember yeah now you have a skin biopsy and uh, in a scale forming condition you have accumulation of the WBCs which is called as microapsis. So, what is that called? Munro's microapsis, which is seen in the case of psoriasis. And basically, the debris, what does it contain? It does not contain isnophils, but uh, it basically contains uh, the neutrophilic aggregates, is what you have to basically appreciate. Now, you are seeing the scaly lesions. What it is called as guttate psoriasis. Typically, guttate psoriasis is a consequence of a previous streptococcal throat infection is what you have to basically remember. Now, doctor, a 9-year-old from Bihar, Bihar is endemic for leprosy and there is an anesthetic patch you can be able to see which is very classical of uh, indeterminate leprosy. Whereas, uh, if there is any recurrent scaly hypopigmented macule on the face of an adult, then you should think of pityriasis versicolor, which is caused by malassezia furfur. And if there is a recurrent scaly hypopigmented macule on the face of a child, you should think of pityriasis alba, which is very benign and it is self-limiting. And once puberty is crossed, alba will also be gone. And it is thought to be one of the manifestation of Atopy, pityriasis alba. Now, the blister pack used in a multi drug therapy in leprosy, which drug is not supplied uh, out of the following? We don't supply in that minocycline, but we supply CDR, clofazamine, dapsone, and rifampicin is what need to be remembered. There is a lesion which has been shown to you, which is an erythroderma basically and what are all the conditions where erythroderma is seen it is seen in psoriasis atopic dermatitis pityriasis rubra pilaris there are a list of causes for the development of erythroderma is what you need to remember now you are seeing on the knuckles the classical scaly lesions which are called gotrans papules which are seen in the case of dermatomyositis is what you need to remember now there is a chronic lesion on the foot. What is this called? Athlete's foot. Athlete's foot is basically a dermatophyte infection. It is tinea pedis is what you have to basically remember. So you have a tinea carpus pedis, cruris, capitis, etc. etc. On Tuesday, you are all coming for the DNBC ET session morning. Uh, 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. In the morning, we will finish dermatology and in the evening, we will finish psychiatry on Tuesday. And on Monday, there is going to be a gorgeous session of DNB CET, 480 questions in microbiology. Dr. Khalil is one of the very good microbiology teachers and he will revise you what are those uh, 29 topics you must master in microbiology before you go to uh, DNBCET. So, morning 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. Dr. Khalil will teach on uh, Monday. He will review for you microbiology and on Tuesday we have dermatology and uh, psychiatry. Eh? 